Today, I'm going to show you how to make this classic Korean side dish called Shigumchi Namul Muchim. This is a super easy recipe, and you know what? For a Korean household, we always, almost always have Shigumchi Namul Muchim as part of our meal. 오늘의 레시피 맛있는 시금치 나물 무침 만들기 오늘도 여러분들과 영어로 함께 하겠습니다. The garlic and sesame oil and oh, it's so good! Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. To make our 시금치 나물 무침, we're going to be using these long stem spinach. So we have about less than 300 grams of long stem spinach. If you're not a fan of spinach, you could certainly use dinosaur kale leaves. Just make sure to remove the stems and only use the green leafy part. Rinse it well. And this is ready to go. So we're going to cut the root end off. These are summer spinach, so I'm cutting it all the way to the base. Now, winter spinach tends to have this purplish end at the bottom of the root area. Do not cut that off. That purple part has so much nutrition. And here's our last one. All right, this is ready. In a medium-sized pot, bring some water to boil about halfway up. And we're going to add about half a tablespoon to a medium-sized pot. So adding salt will brighten the color of our spinach. And we're going to add the stem part in first and just kind of hold it down, scrunch it down like this for about a good 20-30 seconds. Why? Because the stem will require a little more blanching than the leaves and the leaves are super tender. Okay, and then we're going to drop it in here. And from here, we're just going to squish it down and give it about 20 seconds max. So all in, we're doing quick flash blanching for less than 40, 50 seconds. So because of our salt, it's already turning extra bright green. And then we're gonna quickly pour this into a strainer. Make sure to get the rest in here. And then just run it under cold water. Now, we don't have to rinse this till it's like completely cold. I just want you to quickly just bring it down to temperature so that it is just slightly lukewarm or room temperature. And then just shake it a little bit. And from here, grab everything. For about 300 grams of fresh spinach, this is the amount you're gonna get. You know, a handful of blanched spinach. So right now, I'm gonna squeeze it, but don't squeeze too hard, just a light squeeze. That's three, four, five. That's it. We still want some water within, okay? So do not over squeeze. And then we're gonna take this and just cut it four ways. One, two. So it's also important to not over chop your spinach. Then add it to a mixing bowl and take one clove of garlic and just finely grate it. You could also hand mince the garlic, but I like to finely grate it because it just tastes better when we add our seasoning to it, especially the soy sauce. And then turn it over and make sure to scrape off the back. People always forget to scrape off the stuff on the back. Push this to the side right here. And to this, we're gonna add one teaspoon of soy sauce right over our garlic. And we're gonna add our one tablespoon of minced scallions, some freshly ground black pepper, less than one eighth of a teaspoon. And we're gonna add a slight sprinkling of roasted sesame seeds. And right here is my uh, beef dashta, sogogi dashta, just a pinch. You don't have to add this if you don't want to, but you know, usually when we make panchan and you wanna make it extra good, we always add a little. And then to here, we're gonna add about one teaspoon of sesame oil, chamgirim, right there. And then we're just gonna mix this first so the garlic and the ingredients kind of get absorbed into the rest of our liquid. Mmm, smells really good. And then we're gonna add a generous pinch of salt right on our spinach, like that. 
we're just gonna mix this in. So when you mix your spinach, just kind of air toss it to loosen the leaves first and then go in and then kind of go around a circular motion and then gently mix it. Oh, I wish you could smell the fragrance of this. And then just toss it again. I just want you to see how delicious this looks. It's so green. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's just so simple, but yet oh, everything together, the garlic and sesame oil and oh, it's so good. You might've seen me do this with my kimchi recipe and other side dishes, panchen recipes. But when you make panchen at home, you have to pick some up and then you have to call your loved one and say, ah, and feed it to them. I'm not kidding. Because you want them to taste test and tell you if it's salty or not salty. That's just what we do in Korean households. So you could do that at home too. So here's just a little bit. Mm. We blanch the spinach, but it's still like crunchy in my mouth and full of so much juices. So good, so good. So this is best enjoyed within like two days of making it. Just think of it as like a fresh salad. And then if you eat it the next day, I think it tastes better because you get more of that juice. So my favorite way is to take some warm Korean rice, put it on a piece of kim, and just put a little bit on like that. I mean, does that look good or does that look good? If you are fancy, you put one piece of kimchi together. So simple. But trust me, your belly will thank you and you'll be in food heaven. Bon appetito. Oh, this is a big bite. Mm. So simple, but so, so good. That's all I could say. You have to make this at home and have a healthy, simple meal at home with Korean spinach. So I wanna thank everyone for watching today. And if you enjoyed watching today's video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon because that like button does wonders to my channel and I would totally appreciate your support. And if you did not subscribe yet, make sure to subscribe. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼 눌러주세요. 구독 버튼도 눌러주시고요. 다음 비디오에서 뵙겠습니다. All right, folks, I will see you in one of the videos you see right here.